Across Texas, Wednesday morning, the State Board of Education rejected a controversial new textbook about Mexican-American history from being used in Texas classrooms. The board took a preliminary vote during Wednesday's meeting to keep the proposed textbook out of Texas public high schools. Our Anna Warnicke is in Austin with more. This book divides us. This book tells the wrong story about Texans. It will pit us against each other. Racist, offensive, and outright false. That's how these protesters describe the new proposed Mexican-American heritage textbook. The book is flawed, and it's flawed for everyone. The State Board of Education first reviewed the book in September, after a committee of educators identified 141 factual errors. The book was sent back to the publisher for changes, but the committee says the new updated copy now reveals more than 400 errors. This doesn't only become a Texas issue, this becomes a national issue if this book gets approved. 35 critics testified before the board on Tuesday, many blaming the book's publisher, a former member of the state board. Ms. Dunbar, your, vote, your book will be voted down. The disgraceful rhetoric that you shared and that you've tried to get into our classrooms will very publicly be rejected. Cynthia Dunbar also took the stand defending her textbook. A lot of this testimony isn't even accurate. It's emotionally charged. She says she will pursue legal action against the board if members do not approve the textbook during the final vote on Friday. The only basis they could pull the textbook would be because they feel like um, the public has a certain uh, response to it, which is technically not statutorily within their purview. In Austin, Anna Warnicke, Local 2 News. Dunbar says the board is required to pass the current textbook because it meets all state requirements. Again, today's vote was just the preliminary vote. The board will meet again on Friday for the final vote.